and welcome to episode 11 of COVID Creativity. This is Raph. He already know from most of the episodes. <laughs> and today we're going to be spontaneously, spontaneously, very spontaneously, <laughs> writing a, a letter of sorts to our 26-year-old self. 26-year-olds. 26-year-olds. Fast fact, that is a few years away. <laughs> so, we're currently 21. Um, we're born four days apart, which is... Best four days of my life. <laughs> Most people create this letter when they're 20 to their 25-year-old selves, and they normally do it individually, but <laughs> we're, we're not, we're not like Who that. needs to be mainstream? Raphael is like the... So this is why I'm like 26 year old Virag, if you have lost this guy, you're doing something wrong. Um, because <laughs> we get all mushy for a second. Um, because this person over here, the 26 year old Raphael, you deserve to hear this as well. This person over here, um, he has he is literally oh, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> He's Don't you cry, 26 year old. Raph and I met nearly f four years ago. We met at QUT. We both studied a Bachelor of Fine Arts Drama and we just clicked. I don't know. We clicked. We clicked creatively mm. and I think we've got quite similar personality complexes. I mm. don't know. Like in some ways we differ. <laughs> like, oh, you know, <laughs> here and there, <laughs> this and that. <laughs> we did shows when it was just the two of us that we wrote and performed and that was... That was Mind Games, was a show that kind of solidified uh, us. Uh, Vera, I know it's going to be really difficult for you not to watch this video every year until you're 26, <laughs> but I believe in you, just like I believe in Raphael, and I believe that you guys can both do this. And I also, I believe that you will get together virtually or whatever form that may be to record the 26 year old version of yourselves reacting to that video. Maybe it is on Zoom, if Zoom's still a thing. Maybe there's a new Zoom. Who knows? You live with your mum in Brisbane. You work as a drama teacher. Um, you have the, um, I don't want to say occasional odd job, but you're also working as an artist. You have an ABN and you <laughs> use it quite frequently. That's, that stands for Australian <laughs> business number. Hi, future me. You're looking back on this and you're currently traveling somewhere. And I don't know where that will be, but your 21 year old self is currently surviving through the coronavirus epidemic. Actually, that's a question. How long does this last for? Like, yeah. a 26 year old self, like, how, how is, how has the world changed? How has the theatre industry changed? How is you know, your relationship with people. Have have we grown fonder of each other? Have we, you know, realised how important it is to spend quality time with the people in our lives? 26 year old Virag. Am I happy? <laughs> Sorry. We already know the answer to that. <laughs> Happiness is a human co construct. <laughs> uh, no. My question to 26 year old Virag it, is that in 2025, when you are currently living. Do you have any regrets between age 21 and 26? And if so, what are they? I don't know, like all my questions are mostly for both of us. Um, cause you know, we're just, we're just, we're just a yeah. two peas in a pod. Um, but yeah, like mostly like, how, are you, are you, I mean 26 isn't that old, but are you like in the place where you want to be right now? Mm. I, I, I'm gonna expand on that question. 26 year old me, have you changed your hair again? <laughs> have you finally arrived at a happy place where your hair is under control and you don't resent it and it's consistent so that on a Monday it doesn't look like... <laughs> anything. No comments. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> And on a Tuesday, it looks amazing. So, please tell me that tell you've me. you've had you've had some some new discoveries on on ha taming 
curly hair. So on the subject of hair, like Virag, do you still regularly dye your hair red, or have you actually per permanently dyed it now, or do you? Or still, is it purple? Do you still buy it from the box? Like, like, do, do you go to the hairdressers? <laughs> a hairdresser's a thing still. <laughs> Six year old rap. Have you been able to keep and find work in the field that you're so passionate about? And does the field that you love now, or the work that you do now, does it still bring you bliss? Like, have you have you kind of transcended a bit? Like. Not necessarily off the path, but are you have you f built a new kind of path for yourself? Um, Answer the question. Are you in London? Please say it. <laughs> have you, you got a British accent? Have you got a British accent? Love? Hello, love. What are you doing, sweetie? <laughs> if you are there, um, I'm assuming that you finished your masters. I'm assuming that you're probably doing like a masters. As well as working full time and creating full time, because we all know Virag, and she doesn't do things the easy way. No. Are you like studying like a master's in some sort of strand of theatre? Like, oh my god, are you doing a doctorate? <gasps> are you doing a doctorate? Doctor Virag. Oh my god, I really want to be a doctor of theatre. Also, did you want to publish the thing that you wanted to publish? That you've when been you wanting were to publish a long time. Did you did you publish it, or had, did COVID mean that? It didn't work out and you had to publish it later. Or did you not publish it all? Oh, if you didn't publish it all, I'd be really sad, actually. Or, <laughs> question to 26-year-old Virag. <laughs> what, how have your dreams changed since 21? Because what can disappoint you now ah. might be <laughs> comforting at the age of 26. You might be glad that one door didn't open and another one opened. So what, what's cha what's changed? In question to 26-year-old oh, yeah. Rafik, yeah, that guy. <laughs> um, have you reached your goals that you wanted to by age 26? I think I, by 26, I remember when I was a kid, as a teenager, I, I would always look up to people in their 20s and go, they're so old. Mm. And it would seem like, wow, I, 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 I should have... By the time I'm in my 20s, I'm going to have an Oscar. I'm going to have achieved so much. Have you achieved anything? Are you still... 26-year-old Raph. Do you still procrastinate the way that 21-year-old does? Absolutely. 26-year-old Raph, don't say that you don't because I know don't that you lie. don't. lie! <laughs> 26-year-old Raph, have you found... He found the one. <laughs> 26 year old Raph, are you in love? Are you in love? I hope you're in love, 26 year old Raph. You deserve to be in love. You are such a beautiful human being. You deserve to be in love. Do you deserve to be in love? Does everyone still call you Ralph when <laughs> writing in the keyboard? Yes! Does, does auto Apple iPhones oh, autocorrect viral, Raph to Ralph? Oh, viral! Viral! <laughs> viral! Viral! Hi, viral. Hi. 26 year old Raph. Do you still enjoy getting chips with twenty with twenty six year old Virag? <laughs> Is chicken salt still around twenty six year old Virag? <laughs> because it is incredibly important. That is probably the most important thing in our friendship. Is, is chips? Is I thought Dua Lipa was Oh, awesome. Dua Lipa, look, <laughs> Dua Lipa is pretty important. Actually, 26 year old. Other than Dua Lipa and chicken salted chips. What new things, what things have Virag, 26 year old Virag and 26 year old Raf found? We found amazing lakes to explore with ex weird birds. <laughs> I'm re referencing the COVID before that we shared before this link one. It, no. Link in the description below. <laughs> in case you've forgotten, twenty six year old Virag. Yeah, yeah. Um, we've we've discovered um, many many things over the many many strange places, many strange cat people over the years. Have now. you have you have you like 
if we travel, do we finally yes. have enough money to go on that US yeah. trip that we really want to go on? Did we end up going interstate to, an, to another yeah, city? Yeah, that much that we were going to do that too. Yeah. <laughs> These past six months, also with COVID and coronavirus, and that has made us all feel quite quite lonely and quite on edge. Um, and a lot of other things, actually, but we're not going to get into that right now. You've experienced a lot these past six months. Your heart has experienced a lot. Um, and I just want to know if you're, if you're in a better place. We want to ask you, like, has someone broken your heart again? Have you broken your own heart again? But I feel like knowing me, a 26-year-old self, I probably wouldn't admit to that. <laughs> Have you experienced it in the same way? That's it for me. <laughs> Is 21 one of those years that you kind of look back on and go, oh, like, I experienced so much and I loved so much and I felt so much and that really helped me move forward in the place I am now. <laughs> uh, 26 year old Rath, can you get a word in? Yet? No. <laughs> Did you ever learn how to play more than one song on the ukulele. And also, did you ever learn how to play more than one song on the piano? Because since I was six years old, I have never blown the piano and hopefully 26 will be the age. 26 year old Virag, do you finally have your uh, driver's license? <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> Have you finally you reached a hundred hours? <laughs> wow! If you haven't in five years from now, I probably got your haven't. Like, I probably haven't. I probably haven't. Oh my god! My six-year-old Virag and Raph probably cacking themselves right now. What is our friendship like at the moment? Is it long distance? Do we talk once every? Do we still send each other memes. Do I still tag um, Raphael? In that endometriosis, <laughs> you know the one, the one that talks about how like men could not handle being a woman for a day, and it's like this really detailed explanation of why, and quite graphic image too. Do you still tag Raphael in that every time it pops up on your Facebook feed? Because if you don't, I'm very disappointed <laughs> in you. <laughs> um, Have they found a cure, a for, cure endo? for endo? Hopefully, probably not though. Actually, Vera, do you still have to awkwardly explain to people at work? why you look like a ghost and why you've got a heat pack stuffed between your shirt and your pants. Do you still have to do that? Actually, you've probably had another operation. Oh, have, you, have you just come out of surgery? You know, did you, oh God, was it what like... What was the doctor like? Was it as bad as the first one? Hopefully it wasn't. I'm extremely doubtful that someone will um, break up with you two days before your operation again. Ah, we're gonna get it's alright, they probably won't watch this video. <laughs> if you are. Um, 26 year old Virag, does your mum still mean the world to you? 26 year old Raph, does your mum still have unconditional love and support for everything you do and, and, uh, and, um, Does she, 26 year old Raph, does your mum always know what's right for you and do you now listen to her advice and actually take what she's saying and, and take the advice? Are you still in the same country? How often do you talk to her? Do you get to see her all the time? How... What's the relationship like now? I know our mums will be watching this video and the one we... the one we do by this time. Um, but I want you, you both to know that you are so loved. You are so loved. We love you both, respectively and <laughs> together. together. Um, so much and... Um, I think we're so, we're so lucky, we're so lucky that we have such beautiful mothers that support and have always supported our dreams and our ambitions and have really been a guiding light for us throughout all of our life. Wouldn't, I wouldn't change 
you know, I think in years that we would Definitely. change our connections with our mum and our relationship with our mothers to for, for anything really. No. So no. 26 year old Raf and Virak, please give your mother a call after you record this video or send them a text if it's really late. Or if, or if she's around, give her a hug. Yeah. Because you probably still don't give her a hug often enough. Do you still have all these books? Because right now they're like triple shot. Did, have you bought an e-reader yet? No way, she wouldn't have. Okay. Um, Virak, when was your last COVID creativity episode? Did you keep doing this once the pandemic ended? Like, are you What still, did you call it after you, COVID was yeah, gone? Yeah, like, did you call it something else? Um, like, are you still posting on YouTube? Because you're not a YouTuber. You don't see yourself as a YouTuber. You're purely posting on here weekly as a way to make sure that you actually do something creative with someone throughout that week. Good old Vera and 26 year old Raph. I wouldn't say you're both afraid to be vulnerable. I wouldn't say that. I think you're quite vulnerable human beings. My, my question for you both is, do you find it easier or less scary to be vulnerable? Mm. Um, Cause yeah, I think that's, for me, that's definitely a really big thing. 26 year old Raph, do you, only work on film and television now. Oh, that would be exciting. I wouldn't say I necessarily believe in fate, but I do think everything happens for a reason. Mm -hmm. And I do think all, like, even the hurt and the loss and the grief, we feel, I think, the, we even though it feels awful, I think we experience that for a reason. The same as all, like, the moments of, of bliss and, and joy that counteract that. Kind of just, there is this possibility that right now you're watching this and you're alone or you feel like you're alone, or you're not in the happiest of places. And that is completely fair. Like, there are days when we aren't in the happiest of places. Like, I want you to know that we support you, um, that your younger selves support you in whatever place you are. I think it's important that you know that your 21-year-old selves believe in you. Um, and they believe in both of you, even if you're... And hopefully you're still friends. I think we're still friends. I don't think there's a chance for us not to be friends. Like, maybe it's, like, a different... Maybe kind we're not, like, friendship. as close, especially if we're not, like, 20 In the minutes, same country. Like, we're not 20 minutes from each other. <laughs> not on the, the other side country. of Garbo. <laughs> Do you remember what Garbo means? Oh, my God. <laughs> Westfield Garden City. To end this, 26-year-old Rath and Virag, I hope as broad and bland as it sounds... I hope you're happy wherever you are. Super duper. I hope you're happy. Whatever, whatever, whatever that, that whatever that looks, looks like. like, feels like. Um, I hope that you wake up every morning or nearly every morning and feel very grateful for where you are in life and what you're doing. Mm -hmm. I hope that you take every opportunity that's thrown at your way, but also mm -hmm. maybe say no to some things and follow really, what you think is right. It's really important for you to look after yourself, especially mm -hmm. you, Vera. Virag, and Raph as well. You both need to look after yourselves physically, mentally, and emotionally. Virag, you hardly have any me time. Please say you have me time when you're talking. Self care and don't push yourself too far. I feel like twenty six year old me would still be pushing herself. It's a complex. We've got a we've got a unique complex, darling. Twenty one year old us can't wait to see the way you guys react to this. I hope. I can imagine it'll be like when like Billie Eilish like does the same yeah. <laughs> interview like three years after each Vaza other. Vaza and Raza Vaza react. And Raza. To also, yeah, so that's our that's our nicknames for each other. I'm Vaz and this is Raz. Who knows where it came from? Who knows? I, I think you came up with it actually. This is the end of our COVID creativity episode. Thank you for watching. If you want some less emotional and more wholesome content, feel free to go through our previous episodes. Hope you've found out a bit more about what we hope to achieve in the next five years. Yeah. And what, um, where, where we're going to go and, and, and whatever that path looks like is, uh, is yet to be determined. Who knows, who knows where we're going to go and who knows what, what's going to happen. And I think that's, that's the exciting part because now that we're in coming coming out of this epidemic, so like things are returning to normal, and we can only go up from here.